Hey, what's up everybody? It's Jan from InSales Academy and today we're gonna do a review of uh, Reply.io which is an email sending tool for sales teams uh, across small and medium-sized businesses. So let's just walk you through that and figure out if it's good for you. We've done this before, so let's do this. All right, so I've received an email from uh, the head of client acquisition at um, and replied at IO and he said that he wanted to actually do the review for replied IO, which we're gonna do. So he sent me a link and we are going to register and send our first batch of emails. So here's the link. Let's register. So Jan company in sales Academy. Yes. What is that? That's the phone optional. I don't want to give it to them in sales Academy .co and password we'll just do this and we'll sign up uh okay so the password must be bigger so we have gotten it so we have 14 days of trial now this is different to mailshake uh, which mailshake already asks you for a credit card this tool doesn't require it but i know the pricing is much more expensive so if you go to the website reply.io and you look through their pricing, and you'll find out that basically uh, they have, so if you go here, you find out that you can contact 200 people for $40, which is quite a lot to be honest. Uh, Woodpecker or some other tools don't have this uh, kind of a limit for sending emails. Uh, then you have, you know, 3,000 people for $70, which doesn't really correspond to the number because if you have 200 people that you can send emails to for $40, why then a thousand people can send it to 55? Right? Like, what's the difference? Is that $15 worth uh, an 800 people? I don't know. So I don't know how they come up with this pricing. I mean, this is for individuals. If we go, go here and we check out businesses, um, the pricing for businesses, you can see it's quite expensive. So it's $200 monthly, $300 and $500. Right, and you can contact sales. So this is more about, uh, you know, this this team already has team, 10 team members. This team is scaling five team members. This team is a small team of three team members. So if you're the only one doing sales at your company, this might not be the best plan for you. You might just go with the individual plan. Uh, if you're just uh, two people, I would still go with the individual plan. And then if you're scaling up, maybe try this uh, small team option and so on. And they also have enterprise version, I think, uh, which, you know, market leader, you have to contact them. So if you compare this price to the Mailshake and some other tools, it's really quite expensive. So I, I wanna see what's better uh, in terms of uh, this tool. So we wanna set up our email account and yes, so let's do Gmail, continue. And we are going to use my Gmail, yes. Cool, allow it. I always recommend Gmail. You know, you, set up, you buy a new G Suite and it's fine. It's much more fun to use reply in Teams. You can send an invite to your teammates right now. I don't need to do that. Hi, Jan, seize the moment to get any reply plan with 40% off. I'm mean, pretty good offer. Thanks, Eugene, skip this. Welcome to reply. Wait, what does it say? Create and launch your first reply campaign and we'll reach out to your contacts for you. Uh, so create a campaign from template from scratch create a cam you see this is interesting i haven't seen this before so create a template from create a campaign from a template you can use team or reply templates okay create a campaign from grounds up specify steps email templates and add people right so we, you definitely want to go with a scratch but i just want to check out their templates so i want to see what kind of templates do they have so they have a template for SaaS, which is a trial to customer. Engage your trial users in order to deliver value. So if you sign up for a trial, like they, I just sign up, I will receive a bunch of emails uh, from them uh, trying to convert me to a lead, uh, from a lead to a paying customer. You have outbound cold outreach template and you have inbound leads. Pretty good. Uh, I generally don't recommend templates at all, um, but maybe for inbound leads and for SaaS, to, you know trial to customer acquisition it might work out but let's just focus on outbound because this is what we are here for right so let's look at outbound templates i'm really interesting cool so step one day one company and some arrows replied at io okay that's a pretty good subject line what does it say 
Hi, first name. Recently, I went through Startup DB and I found your startup under the hot category. All right. As you know, the fastest way to track first customers or validate your idea is called outreach. So I'm just curious, do you use any tools for email automation? Okay, so here's the problem. This template is fully customized to reply.io, which has nothing to do with yours guys' businesses. And this is what I don't like actually when there's a template that a specific business is using, which is, okay, it's, it's really relevant for them because they are approaching these startups in this category and it might work for them, but this definitely will not work for uh, some other companies, especially if you're an agency or if you're a software house, right? So subject length, I see this two, six, uh, moderate chance to receive a response. I like that. I like the feature of AI or whatever that is, uh, calculating uh, the specific thing, reading level 100, question count one, word count 52 positivity. These are all based, these are all results based on like some AI programming. To be honest, if you, if you target well and if you send an email, even if it's long or shitty to a good prospect, you will get a reply. So um, it's less about the email, more about how well, who are you targeting? How well are, is your targeting? If you target the right person in the need and the time, you can have a shitty email. They still gonna respond. Of course, I, I love great cold emails. So uh, this is a good thing. Then you have B, which is hi, first name, William from reply.io here. Here recently I went through startup DB and found your startup. As you know, the fastest way to attract first customers, validate your ID is called outreach. Cool, so you see they, they gave you two, make yourselves better, they gave you two options. I mean, I like it. Day three, they recommend follow up. Hey, first name, hope you're doing well. Try, I've been trying to reach out to you a few days ago concerning the possibility of cold outreach ad. I was wondering if you need to scale your sales in such a way. This is such a weird thing to say. Since you're pitching through outbound sales, them on outbound sales, which I do all the time. So I don't really like this uh, idea because there's no value in this follow-up, right? They didn't provide any value uh, to the customers. They just asking them any question. Then they follow up on the day seven, which is quite, it's quite near to day three. Um, I mean, they might get an answer, but this might be too much for some somebody. Hi, first name, just wondering if you received my previous email. Really appreciate your reply. You know, we're a shitty email. I wouldn't send this out. Uh, day 21, still considering sales outreach. Day 24, right? So, okay, pretty cool, but I think their templates are kind of weird. You can leave empty subject line. So is this how I can create a template or what is this plus here? Do I have to go back or what's this? And outbound cold outreach, do I have to go here? and then create a new campaign and just say from scratch, what's happening now? Add campaign step, okay. So subject line will say about in sales, oh uh, sorry, about company name. I don't know where are the filter, oh here they are. About company, uh, apply template. You see, you have templates here and I like that. That is very useful, definitely a good feature. <laughs> uh, if you have a personal team template, community template, you have value proposition, introduction, future. Oh shit, this is quite good. So let's look at value proposition. Hey, first name, hoping to reach the person responsible for recruiting. I'm reaching out because I manage partnerships at ABC. We help companies recruit, blah. Love to hear more about your recruiting process. Right, very generic um, email, very, very sounds like cold outreach, which I don't want to sound like cold outreach. But yes, compliment. I really like the clean design and usability of your website. It's really, really good. Right, there's very generic again. There's no nothing specific. Your brief value proposition. I would like to speak with someone who's in charge of this. Are you the right person to speak with? Okay, so these templates are quite good. I mean, if you guys stick to them, you should get a, quite a lot of replies. Right, actually, actually, I saw this email before. Uh, so this is from Kissmetrics, and this guy actually developed one of the biggest uh, companies called Data Nice. I think this is this is his email. So I think these guys from Reply.io just. Uh, you know, went through the internet through like guys for like Steli FD and his playbooks and all these templates like uh, Aaron Ross has from Predictable Revenue and just pick them and put them together, which, you know, when I was studying cold email, I went through all of them, uh, but they don't work anymore. I mean, this is these templates uh, can give you inspiration, but I would definitely recommend creating your own email. Uh, okay, so let's just do about company and I'll just say, hey. Okay, just this, I don't know what this is, right? I like this, we'll save this. Okay, we have this. 
we have steps. Uh, I mean, this is just follow up, so I can create another follow up. I don't need to do that. I just want to see how it works. If you go in, if I go next, schedule allow you to manage your when your emails are being sent. You can pick an existing schedule and create a new one. Okay, so I want to send this on new schedule. You can name it. In my time zone, I can send it on today at, you know, I don't know, at time range. Okay, I like this. This doesn't have mail shake. I'm 5.30 p.m. to 6 p.m. Save. Okay. A separate schedule for follow ups. I like this. I like this. Uh, other tools have this, but it's not very clean and nice like this, like a specific page just for uh, scheduling. So I know Woodpecker has it and I don't think uh, Mailshake has it. So this is pretty good. I like this one. I'm not gonna do that. Advanced settings. What is this? Public holidays. Use contact specific time zone. If set. Okay. Very interesting. Exclude US public holidays. Very interesting. Okay. Uh, save this and let's just go to add people. How do I do that? Next. Add people to the campaign. You can skip this step or do it later. Add people. I, we can import, we can add from existing or we can create manually. I'm not going to import them. You guys know how to do that. I'm just going to send email to my email address, which is this one. And I'm just going to say method man and company a, a in sales academy, whatever, you know, it's just a quick thing. Uh, domain, we don't need all these things, right? Let's just save this and see what happens. Okay, I have it here. Let's just select this. Oh, I don't have to select it. Method man, move to campaign, change status, send email, delete. All right, so I wanna move it to campaign. How do I do that? Do it this, this. The content can, can be only in one campaign. Okay, so let's just do, if I do this, oh, okay, here's the next. You see, this was confusing to me. We have it to Jan at InSales Academy day one, email chain preview. Nice, I like it. I like this, advanced settings. Open the advanced settings. Okay, I don't need to see this. Save and launch. Create a new campaign by clicking on this button. Check out this article. I like they have a lot of content. You obviously need to have that. Mailshake has it, Woodpecker has it. You can learn so much. Uh, new campaign, it's running. If I do this, it's disabled. If I do this, it's abled, sorry. It's paused. Okay, and if I go back, I see the campaign is here. You can see op open rates, reply, reply rates. Uh, really like it, all status, new active post. I like the filtering and how, okay, this is really cool. You can actually filter by status, status, and you can create your own folder so you can organize your campaigns. Now this is what I'm missing with all the other tools because once I create a lot of campaigns in Mailshake or Woodpecker, it's such a, it's such a mess. Uh, so this is really cool. And this is uh, definitely something I like. So if I create a folder, say like US uh, agencies, like this is gonna be my outreach plan. And I have it here. Okay, that's cool. And if I have all and I move, can I, can I move it here? How can I add it? Nothing found here. How can I add a, a campaign here? I think I have to move to folder US agencies. I like this, this is perfect. Definitely others should do this. Uh, so I like that. I also like the view date. You can actually filter it based on the creation date, which is so important. And also based on alphabetical. So other tools don't have this. I really like this. I really am blown, not blown away, but really like it. All status, you can filter by new, post, archived, pretty cool. Uh, this is how you create a new campaign and that's it. Let's just go to where's the like interface, the, the dashboard. Dashboard, I'll just go here, sorry. What's happening right now? Um, so if I go here, I just see this. Okay, so this is the dashboard, okay. People, okay, so this is the list of my contacts. Nice, tasks. All your tasks will be automated here. What is this? So if I say task, uh, start date, due date, description, follow up. What does it do? To do, email, call, chat, meeting. Okay, so is, this is a meeting, add participant. 
Oh, I can actually assign a contact here and just hit save. Okay, it just says you should follow up. So this is a kind of a CRM feature. I wasn't, this, this is definitely something new and most, um, most companies don't have this. So it's definitely something different. Uh, it's quite nice because if, we're, if I'm an agency like me, I have to have a separate Google Sheets for all this to track that. So this can actually save you a lot of time if you're doing multiple campaigns. Yeah, you can just keep it all here and have it like a call and meeting, follow up, you can have another follow up, you can create others. Pretty cool, pretty cool stuff. Templates, we already saw these templates. We can create your own template, which is so cool, right? Other tools don't have this. So templates are really cool. I like it. Uh, you have a team plan template, you have a library of the templates that we went through, really cool. You have team, this is me, you can have others. Reports, what does it say? No reports here, but I believe it's pretty cool here. Outbox, here you can generate your Outbox report. It will provide you with updated information. Okay, nice. Integrations, what can you integrate with? Well, you can integrate with Copper CRM, pretty cool. If you have, if you need a CRM, Copper is pretty good. A close IO, amazing CRM, Pipedrive, okay, base and Salesforce, really cool. Slack channel, Zapier, okay, so they have major integrations. And what else, settings. I think I like it, I like the tool. I especially like the, the template thing and I like the tasks because if we are tracking multiple campaigns, uh, we can actually do the the tracking of the leads inside the software we don't have to use uh, google files for that which is very very important so we might also switch to this uh, for a few campaigns uh, and see how it goes uh, but generally speaking i think i like reply.io i understand why it's more expensive uh, if we just go here and we say okay if i want to just the the price is a bit of a problem for me because 200 people you know for $55, I can contact 1,000 people per month, which is definitely a lot. Okay, but if we do monthly, it's $70. Now, this is quite a lot, but for a tool that does this, I mean, I'm okay with it. So that's Reply.io. I'm actually very impressed with the tool. I like it. I recommend it to people who have sales teams, who have no sales teams. And if you really want, if you're running multiple campaigns and you need some tool that integrates that all with tasks and all this, I think it's a good tool. It's a bit overpriced, but you'll, you'll find the value there. So um, if you want the cold email audit, jump to intelsacademy.com and subscribe to my newsletter and we'll, I'll do it for free. And also if you are looking for more leads for your agency, intelsacademy.com is the place to be, man. And I'll see you next time. Thank you for this. Next time we'll do Sales Handy Woodpecker, some other tool. See ya.